in order to get the minimum nearest neighbor distance between a set of points or within a set of points, I'm just going to go to my module two data, M2 data geo database, data feature data set, and I'm going to choose the feature class points one and just drag that in here so you can see it. So here we have a set of points that we want to ensure that when we convert them to raster or encode them to raster, that those points will each be represented by at least one cell in the output raster. To do so, I have to find the smallest distance between the two closest points, or the distance between the two closest points. Same way of saying the same thing. So I'm going to open up the near tool. I'm going to go to my geoprocessing pane. And under Find Tools, I'm going to type Near. And it's under Analysis Tool, so I'll just click on that item. It brings me to the location in the Analysis Tools toolbox, and I'll open up the Near tool. Now, the Near tool takes one or more feature classes and finds the nearest neighbor distances between features in one class and features in another class. In our case, we want to find the nearest neighbor distances between points in points one, the feature class, and other points in that same layer. So I bring in as the input features points one and the near features as points one. And I don't have to do anything else here and I'll click run. Once that's finished running, it will add to the featured class table for the input feature data set called points one, a new column or field, I'll drag that up over here, called near dist that we can see right there. To find the smallest distance between the two closest points, I just have to right click on that, sort ascending, and I find here that the smallest distance is 8.567 meters. So in order to ensure that when we encode these points to a raster version of the points, that no two points will ever fall in the same cell, and be represented as a single cell, we need to divide that number by three. So I'll just open up a calculator. And in the calculator, I'll just copy that value and I'll paste it like so, control C, control V on the keyboard. And I'll then say divided by three. And that's equal to 2.85. Five, so 2.86 should be sufficient. So my cell resolution for the raster that I'll use to represent these points will have a resolution of 2.86 meters. So to undertake the conversion, I'll go back to my geoprocessing tools, go back to the toolboxes, and I'll go down to conversion tools down here. In conversion tools, I'll see a two raster item. And in the two raster, I'll say I want to go point to raster. So I'll open up the point to raster tool. My input features, again, are going to be points one. So I'll drag those over there. The value field will be the object ID of each point so that each cell will have a unique value and that unique value of each cell corresponds to the unique value of each point in the original vector points layer. Then for the cell size, we'll choose 2.86. And then we click Run. Now that that's completed, we have a new layer, 
added to our table of contents over here called points one underscore point to raster. And these are individual cells. So I have to turn off my points one to see them. And even then I'm not seeing them at this scale of view. So I have to zoom in because these are two meter size, 2.86 meter size cells. So here we have that cell and I'll click on the point and you'll see that there's a point right there that belonged to that cell. If I zoom out, you'll see the other points belonging to other cells. Now, as a final check, what we do is we observe how many points went into that conversion by opening up the attribute table for the original point layer. And we can see here that in the attribute table in the bottom left-hand corner, it says zero of 100 selected. That means there were 100 points. So if I open up the points one point to raster, it should also have 100 cells because we chose a resolution to ensure that that will happen. And points one points to raster has 100 features as well as does points 100. So now we know we have successfully converted a raster or I should say converted or encoded points to raster and maintained discrete object representation.